Hi guys, welcome back to another weekly vlog. I'm here with Holly again. <laughs> so I thought I'd just give you a little update um, where the week's gone so far. It's Thursday now. Um, yesterday was the only day I actually really did something. I went into town with my mum and sister. We went to like Home Sense and places like that. So I've actually got a little bit of a haul hopefully coming soon. I don't know if that'll be in a weekly vlog or its own video, but I will show you the bits that I picked up. I'll keep an eye on <laughs> I will show you them eventually um, but yeah today Thursday it's like quarter to four and we are heading out to an afternoon tea I was kindly invited I know kindly invited <laughs> along to a afternoon tea which is a new little mm. venture for <laughs> Cafe Bohem which is a French restaurant here in Aberdeen on Windmill Bray so we're heading there today. Obviously with all the new restrictions and stuff, um, places closed at 6 p.m. inside. So it's on, I think it's on most days. I'll double check all this for you, but it's 12 till six. But you can book yourself into afternoon tea. It is 20 pounds per person. The menu looks fancy, guys. Very fancy. The menu looks really fancy. We're gonna fancy. try some ox cheek for it. <laughs> ox cheek. I'm actually quite excited for that. Coming from the almost veggie, I don't know why I'm saying this, but I've never had it before, so we'll see. Um, Get some mocktails with that too. Yes. So obviously we're not allowed to drink inside right now with the coronavirus restrictions. So we're getting a mocktail today. I think there's a choice of like five or six that you can choose from with your afternoon tea as well. So we'll see what it brings. I'm quite excited for it. Yes, very excited. I'm excited to be out as well. Like it's yeah, just nice to do something. We got a little bit dressed up today for like the first time in a very long time and yes. we actually when we were getting ready we were like this doesn't feel right <laughs> we what are so, we doing so fucking st so stressed <laughs> we were so stressed today had no idea what to do <laughs> no idea what to wear but now we're out i feel quite nice being dressed up a little bit yeah. got the heeled boots on a bit of normality which is quite nice yeah i'm gonna leave you now but i will show you our gorgeous afternoon tea when we're eating it finished up at our afternoon tea at Cafe Bohem. <laughs> I hope I'm saying that right. I really hope so. We've had a good 20 minute conversation about how to say that. Too. Yeah, we, we googled it and everything. <laughs> we've had Cafe Bohem, ca like Bohemian, we've had... Boheim? Boha <laughs> Bohem. I don't know if that would cross my mind, but <laughs> Bohem is what we think it is. So that's what we're going to go with. Um, so yeah, we've just finished up the afternoon tea. I think I said 12 till 6 previously. Obviously that's when the place closes at the moment. So it'd be 12 till 4 you can be served. Started off with our cocktails. So I went for the Garden Spring cocktail. <laughs> gin mocktail. So it had like fake gin in it. It had cucumber, elderflower. I don't know, but it was a really nice one. <laughs> and Holly went for the... It was a blueberry and rosemary cocktail so there was no like fake alcohol in it at all just like blueberry jam and stuff so it was really nice yeah we picked good cocktails the cocktails were Definitely. really nice <laughs> um very refreshing and then we were given our little velout which is a french soup um which was like butternut squash it was really nice i had a kick to it yeah, it was really good really tasty then you went on to the bottom platter, so that was like, you had your toasties, there was ox cheek toastie, and there was a... Surprisingly good. That was really nice. I was a bit dubious of that one, but I would have that one again. 
yeah it was really <laughs> tasty and the brie and spinach toasty now that that was my fave that was, that was really fun. nice i'd have that again in a heartbeat <laughs> oh, a little, have a little salmon thing oh yeah a little <laughs> bellini i think it was called. yes that's exactly what it was uh smoked Sam smoked salmon petit pois petit pois, <laughs> petit pois bellini <laughs> it was really nice as well really tiny really really tiny but oh packed a punch you had little sausage rolls there were creme brulee and the creme brulee if you like blue cheese you will like it for me and holly we don't really like blue cheese so it wasn't for us we Not did try brave. yeah we did really try to eat it we gave it a, our best shot but <laughs> it wasn't for us unfortunately so if you like strong cheese it's a winner yeah, for you. It was, yeah. For me personally, I'm not the biggest fan of cheese. I can't eat a lot of cheese, otherwise I get a headache. So, not my favourite one, but the rest on that platter were really, really, really nice. Moving up to the next one, we had the start of our sweet treats. We had like a cherry tea cake. Cherry tea cake. Uh, tea cake, like this marshmallow and like the biscuit bit of that. Delicious. We had the chocolate tart. Oof, mm. chocolate orange tart. Very good. So sweet. So good. <laughs> fruit pastel. A fruit pastel. Which is like, it's kind of like jelly sort yeah, of. There was like a sugar coated jelly cube. Yeah. And then it was on to the top layer. Yeah, and the top layer, which again was really nice. So they had oh, yeah. the lemon meringue pie. That was mm. really good actually. It wasn't the, too sharp. Yeah. So. so I'm not the biggest fan of lemon for that reason, but with the meringue and the it was quite a nice like crunch to the base. Um, it was good. And then my absolute favourite. I think it was my favourite too actually. Yeah, it was mm. a good one. Before we went into this, we both said we don't like macarons that much. <laughs> the last time we tried them, which for me to be fair was many, years many ago. years ago. Yeah. Um, we said we didn't like them, so we weren't sure how it was going to be. This turned out to be the best thing I tasted on this afternoon tea. <laughs> it was delicious. It was like a pistachio macaron yeah. with Black blackberry yeah i think it's blackberry, blackberry filling oh it was so nice the macarons just melted in your mouth it was the right balance of like chewy and soft yeah. and light and yeah oh it was ace that was our afternoon tea and then we got a little coffee at the end as well so you can either choose between the coffee or the mocktail i mean you obviously want to go for the mocktails come <laughs> on but if you don't like mocktails then you've got the choice of coffee too um, I think they do usually serve it with a champagne cocktail, yes. but obviously we're not right now. To do that right now. Yes, <laughs> right now you get the mocktail, but eventually they will start serving it with champagne cocktails, which sounds brilliant. Um, for one of those. Yes, so it's <laughs> twenty pounds per person, and for a nice little celebratory afternoon tea, I think it's a great option. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, on that note, goodbye. Happy Saturday friends! So hello, it is Saturday morning, it's just gone 11, I'm actually pretty tired, I got up at like half 7 and I can't say I've done anything since, I'm not really sure what the plans are, me and my mum might nip to some shops like Dunelm, Next, those kind of places, look at the home stuff there, just have a mooch and then tonight I am picking up a exciting takeaway which i'll share all about once once i get it for now i think it'll just be a mooch around the shop so we spend some time with puppy and yeah my sister's boyfriend moved into his new flat yesterday we'll maybe go around there as well help him out a bit i think i'll take my takeaway over as well and we can all share it together should be an okay saturday nice and chilled i think but that's fine because i think i need it i feel like i have no energy today eyes feel like they're going together. You can probably tell from my voice as well. It's very like mellow. <music> been licked to high heavens anyway um i thought i'd just give you a quick update on what is way to happen so i have been kindly gifted um a meal for two 
and four, four beers from Brewdog Union Square in Aberdeen. Um, so basically they wanted to they wanted to help to promote their new crowler machine. So basically, right now but Scotland have restrictions where bars and restaurants have to close at 6 pm and they can't serve alcohol inside. So obviously that is having a huge effect on businesses. They can't serve alcohol, which if it's a bar like Brewdog, that is their main business, that is what they do. So they've had to come up with unique ways to to make sales essentially um, and sell their product. So Brewdog got in touch and asked if I wanted to sample their Crowler beer. Um, so basically they have this machine that, a Crowler machine, which allows them to pan any of their beers on tap that they have on at the moment. So as you would if you went into a bar, into a Brewdog, pour your beer in the glass. Um, so basically it'll be fresh beer on tap that will be canned up and it lasts fresh for three days. So instead of going into a shop or going into Brewdog itself, which you also can do, you can go and pick up the cans from Brewdog as well, like the cans that you'd find in like supermarkets. But this is the Crowler beer that I'm way to get is fresh, so it can last fresh in your fridge for up to three days. Yeah, I'm excited. So that is their new little venture. So if you're fancy that, head over to Brewdog Union Square where you can take home some Crowler beer which is great. So I opted for a punk IPA. We got, we've got an Elvis juice come in. Um, we've got a clockwork orange and we've got a kingpin. So I'm very excited to give them a go. But to be honest, I've had a brutal beer in ages. So I'm pretty damn excited. I've also got two pizzas come in and we ordered a third pizza, but we got a side of cauliflower wings and a side of chicken wings. So mm, it's gonna be nice. If you fancy giving the Crowlers a try or ordering yourself a little takeaway on a Saturday night or the weekends or during the week. You go for it. Right now, you need a drink during the week. You do you boo. That would be a nice way to spend a Saturday. Sunday, I thought I'd just give you a quick run through of yesterday. The last thing you'll have seen was the brew dog clips. So like I mentioned already, I got gifted a meal from brew dog and some beers um, to promote their new crowler machine. So essentially that allows them to can up fresh beer, fresh draft beer um, straight from the tap. You can have your crisp pint at home. Um, I'm just back from a nice long dog walk with my mum and Casper. I'm feeling a bit like I need some water. Um, but yeah, that is that is the weekend. That is the end of this vlog. Not really much else to say today. Yeah, I'm gonna leave it here. So thank you so much for watching once again. I hope you enjoyed. Um, there's been quite a lot of exciting things on this little vlog. A lot of gifted meals, which I'm very appreciative of. It's um, great getting to sample local uh, cuisine and restaurants and bars and everything. It's one of the perks of the job, really. Um, I love it. I love showing you guys. I love documenting it. It's good memories, so yeah. Thank you to Cafe Boheme and Brewdog for having me. Yeah, hope you enjoyed. Make sure you like, subscribe and all that jazz and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. <laughs>